Hi, Jacob here with the Nature Conservancy of Canada, and in this video, we're going to show you how to quickly and effectively control invasive garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is native to Europe and was brought over as an edible and medicinal herb in the early 1800s. It's now a major problem throughout North America, especially in the forests of southern Ontario. Garlic mustard can quickly reduce biodiversity by forming dense patches that can have long-lasting impacts, as the plant releases a chemical that alters soil chemistry and inhibits the growth of native plants, including many species at risk. Thankfully, garlic mustard is relatively easy to control, if you know what you're looking for. Garlic mustard is biennial, which means it has a two-year life cycle. In the first year, it grows low to the ground with dark green, kidney-shaped leaves. The leaves have scalloped edges and very deep veins that make them look wrinkled. In the second year, plants can grow up to 120 centimeters high with triangular, sharply toothed leaves. A white flower is produced in May with narrow seed pods forming later in the summer. Garlic mustard at either stage looks similar to several native plants, but the best way to tell it's garlic mustard is to crush a leaf. If it smells like garlic, it's probably garlic mustard. Getting to be a pretty big patch in here. Definitely. You can control both first and second year plants, yeah. and Chris and Jordan from NCC's Invasive Species Removal Team are going to show us how. So here we're removing first year garlic mustard plants. All you want to do is grab the plant at the base and pull the whole plant out of the ground to make sure you grab the root. You don't want to leave any of the root behind because it could re-sprout. And then you're just going to dispose of it in a garbage bag. Sometimes it's really hard to grab all the root, so you could use any type of tool you have around the house to help loosen up the soil to ensure you grab the whole root system and that the plant won't re-sprout in the future. So when controlling a second year plant, you're gonna to want to try to control and cut it before it goes to seed. Unfortunately, these plants have already gone to seed. So what we're gonna do instead of pulling it out, we're going to cut near the base of the plant and try to remove the plant without disturbing the seed heads. If you're able to control before the plant goes to seed when it's still in flower or before it's flowered, just like your first year plants here, you can just pull the whole plant and the root right out of the ground. But again, in this case, we're gonna to have to cut. Another option for second year plants is to mow them with your lawnmower before they have a chance to seed. To dispose of the cut plants and flower heads, place the bag in direct sunlight for a minimum of one week to kill the seeds. Do not skip this step if you plan to compost the material, as pulled plants can still produce seeds if they have flowered. Keep in mind, you likely need to control garlic mustard over multiple years to completely eliminate it from an infested area. To speed things up, you may wish to perform some simple restoration on the control site, such as mulching, seeding, or planting native plants. This will give native vegetation a leg up on any garlic mustard seeds hiding in the soil waiting to grow. When you're done controlling and restoring, be sure to clean your clothing and equipment with disinfecting wipes or a mild water and bleach solution to avoid transferring invasive seeds to a new site. For large infestations, herbicides may be necessary. Visit the Ontario Invasive Plant Council website for more information on chemical control options. Anyone using a herbicide is responsible for complying with all federal and provincial legislation. Thank you for watching and helping keep our forests healthy by controlling invasive garlic mustard. 